Hey man, it's me, Johnny Depp. I'm kidding, it's me, Kayvon, the most famous half-Persian and Johnny Deppish actor and comedian in the world. Now listen, not long ago I did a video about what happened when you typed in Antifa.com. What's really odd is that when in a debate with Donald Trump, he was asked by Trump and the pervert Chris Wallace, what about Antifa? Joe Biden deflected and claimed they don't exist. Take a look. During the height of the corona lockdown and the crisis, all we needed was a little calm to help get us through that time we were supposed to stay home. And while we stayed home and left our businesses unattended, democratic funded hate groups like BLM Inc. and Antifa destroyed the businesses we loved so much. Now, what's very interesting is Joe Biden was asked to condemn Antifa and he said there's no such thing as Antifa and that's just an idea. Somebody's got to do something about Antifa. Antifa and the left, because this is not a right his wing own, problem. This is, this is a left wing. This is a left wing. Go ahead, let, white supremacist. Antifa is an idea, not an organization. Oh, you got it. Not militia. Okay, but why wouldn't Joe Biden condemn Antifa? Because he is the number one beneficiary of Antifa's antics. I would say, I would say almost everything I see is from the left wing. Antifa is the militant if you can call him that, pansy boy wing of the leftist Democrat party. And I can prove it. I want you to do this quickly before they figure out I'm telling you and then pull it off the internet. I want you to go to antifa.com on your computer, okay? No funny business. Can you see that? Antifa.com, hit enter. Well, looky here. The official Joe Biden website. So it came as a tremendous surprise to me when recently I went on Antifa.com and it no longer goes to Joe Biden's campaign. It now goes to the White House. Now I've built 10 websites myself and I know you can point a URL to any direction, but why does this one keep going directly to Joe Biden? You could say it's a prank, but where's the prank? What's the joke? I'm a famous actor, comedian, and impressionist, and there's no joke here, buddy. I'm sorry, radical leftist. I know jokes when I see them. This is not a joke. You don't know jokes because you watch Trevor No Laughs and Stephen Cobor, but I know jokes. That's what I do. This is what happens when you type in Antifa.com now, and if you don't believe me, try it for yourself. Now why is it in 2021 a famous half-Persian comedian and actor is a far better journalist than anyone on Communist News Network or MSNB Hee Haw? Don Grab and Suck Your Lemons or Anderson Pooper Scooper? Rachel Madcow, they can't dig into this information? What are they, too busy giving each other haircuts? The point being, if Donald Trump had KKK.com going to his website and his fundraising and his White House consistently, this would be in the press every single day. But the media refuses to share this, so maybe you can do that. Until then, I'll be looking like Johnny Depp or Carmen Sandiego. And if you want to keep these videos coming, it's not hard, man. All you have to do is go on GoFundMe.com slash Comedy, Venmo at KVON dash KVON, or of course, just share and subscribe this video. That's the cheapest option. Either way, I'm happy. Now, I'm off to pretend I'm a pirate.